Hello, my name is Nick Fournier and I'd like to share something with you. This is a staircase I built with some friends. I went to Burning Man and met Tom West. Tom was building himself a custom home and wanted a one-of-a-kind spiral staircase, so we teamed up to make it happen. The staircase would be a sculpture to unify the three floors. A helical staircase was created by bolting each tread to the one before as it rotated upward. With each tread being roughly the same, we worked out the most efficient use of material to make the blocks to then be shaped by a machine. Then once the reclaimed lumber was delivered, we cut it up, processed it into the sizes we needed, then glued it all together into the blocks to feed the machine. The wood came from an old factory, so it had bolt holes and blemishes all over the place that we either hid or accentuated adding to the stairs character. The blocks then went on a pallet and magically turned into this. And by magic, I mean a ton of mathematics and creative programming. With the model and the computer, we determined the toolpaths, then simulated the milling process to verify it would work correctly. Then we loaded the blocks into the CNC machine. Now I've done a lot of projects that were designed in the computer, and then I hit print to a piece of paper, and then built it by hand. But the ability to hit post-process to a robot, and then have it do exactly what it's told is a very beautiful thing. They can't do what a human can do, a human can't do what a robot can do, but together, we can create things that have never even been built before. After the parts came out of the machine, they were still a little rough, so we brought them to the art studio, set up a kill room, and with a variety of different power tools, they were sanded smooth. Now there were 30 treads to be sanded, and as with any repetitive task, it's good to create an efficient system. But once that system was established, and I realized I still had 28 treads to go, I downloaded a bunch of audiobooks and podcasts. As you can see, this is a lot more doing than thinking, so it was a great time to ingest a good book. Then they were ready for a dry fit and assembly. Each tread was glued and bolted to the one before in a helical pattern as well as being pinned into the concrete where possible. Since they all had unique grain character, we arranged them into groups so they flowed together nicely as they went up. Then once both flights were glued and bolted, it was time to smooth out the spine and sculpt the transitions. We couldn't let the robot have all the fun, so the final touches were done by hand. For the transitions, we just made sure we had plenty of extra stock, established a curve, and then chased that curve with a bunch of grinders and sanders. And after it was sculpted, sanded, and oiled, we turned this into this. It turned out great. It's very comfortable, and it's the sculptural element that ties all three floors together. Now there were many hands and minds that made this project so successful. First off, I have to thank Tom West for his vision and drive to make something great. Tim Bickford for his incredible generosity and knowledge. All the highly skilled guys at Limerick Machine Company and Doug Ruska and the Artisans Asylum for teaching me to let robots do my dirty work. I hope you enjoyed the video and the photos. For more information, just visit nickfournier.com. Thanks for watching.